I see. You disappear. Mm. Suit of clothes was found. Yes. And in one of the pockets. Yes. A note. A note. Oh, yes. A note. With these affecting <laughs> farewell words. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This, this, yes, was thy word. Oh, very good. Thy word. Oh, Penelope Ann. Penelope Ann. Penelope Ann. <laughs> Pene <coughs> Penelope Ann. Penelope Ann. Widow of William Wiggins. Widow of William Wiggins. Proprietor of bathing machines. Proprietor of bathing machines. Margaret. And Ramsgit. It must be she. Then you, sir, you are the long lost lamented box. I am. And I was about to marry that unhappy creature whom you so cruelly deceived. Oh, well, you, you are. Uh, <laughs> you are. Uh, Cox. I am. Well, um, I congratulate you. I give you joy. And now I think I'll go and take a stroll. No, you don't. You will not leave my sight until I have restored you to the arms of your intended. My intended? She's your, your intended. She's no such thing, sir. She's yours. Well, how can she be my intended now that I'm drowned? You're no such thing, sir, and I give her back to you. Benevolent being. <laughs> I wouldn't rob you for worlds. Good morning, sir. Stop. Yeah. Unhand me, Hatter. <laughs> or I shall cast off the lamb. And assume the lion! Oh. <gasps> and insults to my very face, under my very nose! You know the consequences, sir! Instant satisfaction, sir! With all my heart, sir! Come, sir! Come, sir! Come, sir! Come, sir! Come, sir!
which has bereft you of your intended wife. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Wiggins went out for a short excursion in a sailing boat. A sudden and violent squall soon after took place, which, it is supposed, upset her as she was found two days afterwards, keel upward. Poor woman. The boat, sir. Oh. <laughs> as her man of business, I immediately proceeded to examine her papers, amongst which I soon discovered her will, the following extract from which will, I have no doubt, be satisfactory to you. I hereby bequeath my entire property to my intended husband. Excellent but unhappy creature. Benevolent, <laughs> ill-fated being. Oh, Fox, I, I cannot thank you sufficiently for your sympathy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cox, I, I, I'm sure you couldn't feel more, sir. If she were your own intended. If she were my intended, she was my intended. Oh, come now, didn't you very properly point out that I proposed to her first? <laughs> to which you very sensibly replied that you had done away with yourself. I did not. I say you did, sir. The fortune is mine, sir. It's mine, sir. I'll go to law, sir. So shall I, sir. I'll have it, sir. So shall I, sir. Oh, no, 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 stop a bit, sir. Instead of going to law about the property, why don't we simply divide it? Equally? Equally. I'll take two thirds. I'll take three fourths. Done. Done. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, the pleasure again. is mine, sir. Absolutely. Proud, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. It's England is proud of oh, man in your well, condition. Uh, the first thing we must do with the money. Yes. What do you have to say there? Gentlemen. Up. Gentlemen. Loud, sir. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Another letter, sir. Puppets, more, oh, sir. Oh, I forgive you again. <laughs> uh, uh, I can make change if you wish. Uh, goodbye, answer. Let's goodbye, go. answer. Uh, 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 Margaret, Margaret. Oh, another trifle. From the attorney, no doubt. Uh, uh, some small matter concerning our inheritance. Mm, let's see. <coughs> my word. Oh, my God. Incredible. What does it say? <laughs> Happy to inform you, false alarm. Sudden squall, boat upset. Mrs. Wiggins, you're intended. Picked mm. up by steamboat. Carried into below. Returned here this morning. We'll start by early train tomorrow. And be with you at 10 o'clock exactly. Have you your watch? No, sir, but it's just close to the time, time. sir. Come on, I congratulate you. But I give you joy. I regret that the church is going to be in the We prevent my witnessing the no doubt happy reunion between you and your intended, sir. No, no, sir. Not the world that I interrupt, sir. No, no, sir. She is just. A cab sprawled up in front. Hush, ladies. Get out. First, no mistaking that majestic countenance. It's. It's. But it's a man! She's coming up the stairs. Alone? Yes, yes, alone, alone. Open the door. The lady is left. Yes, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Do you trust him? Not at all. Then shall we open the door? Absolutely. All right. Hey, Martha. Dear, dear. Hard on the apartment here. Another letter, sir. This one, sir, is on the house. <laughs> Shall we open it, sir? I suppose. It's a good way to find out what is inside. <laughs> I suppose it's bad news. My God. <laughs> Dear Mr. Cox, pardon my candor. But, 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 being convinced that our feelings, like our ages, do not reciprocate, Hasten to apprise you of my immediate union with <laughs> Mr. Knox! Hooray! Hooray! Three cheers for Knox! Ha! 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 The little back second floor room is ready!
the apparent insanity of the remark. But the more I gaze upon your features, the more I'm convinced that you're my long lost brother. <laughs> the very remark I was going to make to you. Oh, tell me, in mercy, tell me, have you such a thing as a strawberry mark on your left shoulder? No. Then it is he! <laughs> My hand upon it, joined with yours, agreed the house will hold us. And two good lodgers bouncer gets heel in his arms and fold us. Ah, yes, yes, two arms. And was an arms. You remember, of course, you remember, of course, when I mounted a in her majesty's voice, as one of the yeomen who meet with the foreman, or then an invasion, threaten the nation, and there's no occasion to 